Back to Mason Talks on another Victory Monday. The Browns beat the Buccaneers yesterday, 22-17 in Cleveland. Brian Hoyer had his first 300-yard game of the season. Um, he had 34 attempts, 21 completions, exactly 300 yards, two touchdowns and two interceptions. Uh, one touchdown was to Taylor Gabriel, who had a big game. Five, Taylor Gabriel had five catches for 87 yards. Uh, Terrence West had one catch for two yards and a touchdown. Um, whoops. Uh, Taylor Gabriel, of course, as I just... Jeez. Uh, Travis, Travis Benjamin had a big catch. He went flying backwards, caught the ball, got hit, kept the ball. Uh, we got a first down. He had 52 yards. Miles Austin had a few catches for 54 yards. Uh, Andrew Hawkins took a shot to the head, which was not called as a penalty or anything. Um... Our defense played a lot better yesterday. We had quite a few sacks. I don't know the exact number of sacks we had, but we had quite a few. Um, Joe Hayden had a big game yesterday. He had a few deflections. One went. He had one pass that he deflected right into the hands of Dante Whitner, who took it back like 80 yards. Tayshawn Gibson had his sixth interception. He's now leading the league in interceptions. We just had a good game defensively, and we beat the Buccaneers. Uh, we just barely beat them, though, which is not good. Um, I mean, it's winning, even though it's winning ugly, so, I mean, that's good. We're 5-3. and three. Uh, We already have a better record this year than we did last year. Last year, we had four wins and 12 losses. This year, we're going to have at least five wins, hopefully more. Um, our next game is Thursday Night Football against the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, so they have three days to till their um, game. And it's going to be a big game. It's going to be a big game. If we beat the Bengals and we have a big shot at making the playoffs. Um, if we beat the Bengals, we're going to be, I think, first in the AFC North. Even though the Steelers have been playing extremely well. Uh, but, like, Ben Roethlisberger in the past two games has had 12 touchdown passes, which means six in each game. So they're playing extremely well. Um, the teams... That we have to beat the next in the next three games. We have to win at least two, hopefully three. Um, the Colts are going to be hard to beat, but I think we can beat them. The Texans, I think we're going to beat. I think we're going to blow out the Atlanta Falcons. That's going to be the game that Josh Gordon comes back. I'm hoping he has 200, 200 plus yards in the game, which is uh, very possible. Um, Johnny Manziel was shown on the sideline at least a billion times. Um, one of which he was dancing, and he was heavily criticized for that because he was dancing on the sideline, enjoying himself. Uh, yeah, you're not allowed to do that in the NFL. Um, he was laughing a lot. Um, he was he looked extremely cold. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, yeah. Um, Terrence Wet. Our running game has come to a screeching halt. Ben Tate only had three yards on the game. Terrence West, of course, had 48. Isaiah Crowell had no yards, which I thought he was going to get some carries. That's why I had him starting on my fantasy team. But no, he had no carries at all, um, which is not good. Ben Tate, ugh, he, every time we hand the ball to him, he cuts back. He starts juking people, and then he gets tackled for a five-yard loss. So he was pulled out. Terrence West, uh, I think we need to stick with Terrence West. He seems, he's, he's he's just giving the ball and he goes straight forward and he gets like five yards of carry. We just need to stick with Terrence West. It will be good running. And Crowell. I like Crowell a lot. He's good. And he's on my fantasy team. Um, I cannot wait for week 12. Josh Gordon comes back. Um, I tried to get him in fantasy, but someone picked him up week two because, I don't know. Why do you pick him up week two? You, like, you pick him up in week two, you still have ten games to wait till he plays. That's stupid. But, uh, he's Brian Hoyer, he's good. That's all I have to say about him. Um, you know, we just keep running the ball. We're going to run the ball all the way to the playoffs. If we can start running the ball better, I guess, you know. Because we can't run the ball at all. Which is so irritating. Uh, I think our defense is going to be what lifts us into the playoffs. Joe Hayden's starting to adjust to the new rules and the new defensive scheme. Our safeties are playing extremely well this season. They're, are we have, I think we have the two best safeties in the league. But uh, you know, that's just my opinion. 
I mean, Tayshawn Gibson is the best safety. Um, we have, you know, we have some good linebackers. We have, yesterday we had a blocked field goal by Billy Wynn and a blocked punt by Craig Robertson. So, uh, special teams coordinator Chris Tabor must have been very happy yesterday. Um, yeah, uh, we still can't uh, return punts or barely catch them. We have Jim Leonard back there just to make sure we catch the punts. So, bring back Josh Cribbs. I mean, yeah, we'd be we'd be set with Josh Cribbs. He'd be good at returning punts. So, yeah, I mean, I think we're going to win Thursday against the Bengals. So, I think the Browns are going to win. I think we're going to be first in the NFC North, 6-3. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you Friday after Becca.